there's just something special with Spongebob music. When you have a show about this enthusiastic sponge going on adventures in Bikini Bottom, this soundtrack needs to fit that well. In order to establish the whole tropical islandy vibe going on here, Steven Hillenberg and the crew decided to choose many distinct instrumental songs that would accurately portray what it feels like to be underwater. You can listen to a wide selection from the soundtrack out of context, and there's a pretty good chance you'd point it out and say, hey cool, that's from Spongebob. There's a track for any kind of situation, any kind of mood that would reflect what's happening on screen. It doesn't matter how long the show's been going, music has always been an absolute strong point for Spongebob. Older tracks still return for new episodes, revealing that while many things about the show do change, this is still the same world we fell in love with in 1999. I could go on and on about the general list of songs, but there's one in particular that's really worth diving into. You may or may not know this, but much of what you hear throughout Spongebob comes from existing pieces from long ago. They may be remixes or covers, but just understand that not everything is entirely original. That's not a bad thing though, it reflects the mood well. Doing a little research, you might be surprised to hear that there's a Spongebob song made around 140 years ago. Welcome to Aloha Way. Right away, it's easy to tell the kind of emotions this song tries to elicit. It gives me a few different vibes. Waking up in the morning ready to tackle yet another day, looking forward to whatever awaits in the future. Also, people can get the idea that this is a farewell of some kind. It almost feels like we're looking back on the past just as much as we're thinking about what comes next. The song balances two sides of a similar coin, which is honestly beautiful. But you may be asking yourself, how on earth could Aloha Oe be made 140 years ago if SpongeBob came out in the late 90s? Well, remember when I said that a bunch of songs from the show are based on older stuff? That's what's happening here. The original song was written all the way back in 1878 by Lily Uokalana, also known as the Hawaiian Kingdom Queen. There's a ton of history behind this, but the main idea is that it's meant to say farewell. As she was riding off into the distance away from her home in Hawaii, she started humming this melody to express her feelings about the situation. She was obviously close to the Hawaiian traditions around this time period, and one thing led to another where she could no longer stay. The lyrics of a Aloha Oe are about saying goodbye to someone or something she loved. Despite coming out in the late 1800s, the song is incredibly well known in modern day, constantly being used in pop culture, and I mean, look at the video you're watching right now. Just the idea that I'm talking about this should be a good reminder that the song has been remembered for generations. Now in terms of Spongebob, it takes on an interesting idea. The version you hear throughout the show isn't directly from the Queen, since it's an instrumental arrangement made in the late 1900s. Here's where things get surprising. Aloha Oe is one of the most important songs in the entire show. Why? Because if you start watching the very first episode of Spongebob, the very first time we were introduced to this imaginative world that defined a generation, we heard this song. Ah, the sea. So fascinating. So wonderful. Here we see Bikini Bottom teeming with life. Home of one of my favorite creatures, SpongeBob SquarePants. Now, in the original context, it was expressing farewell and that things would never be the same. Fast forward 140 years later, and the song resurfaces here in SpongeBob. A legend was born. By using Aloha Oe like this, we don't need to say goodbye to anything that came before. Instead, this was a new beginning for a show that would change the world of animation as we know it. A show that would manage to make everyone smile even if they weren't having a great day. A show that brought so many fans together just to make them relax and laugh. But that's not the end of why Aloha Oe is so special. It's a perfect representation of this carefree underwater world, but it also introduced everyone to the legendary mind of Steven Hillenburg. He obviously thought the track was meaningful, given that it's literally in episode one at the beginning, and the song very rarely appears in other episodes. There was one case in season nine that stands out to me the most, Lost in Bikini Bottom. It seems like a relatively normal storyline where SpongeBob gets lost on the way to work, but something happened behind the scenes to make this better than anyone thought. You see, Hillenberg stopped working on the show because he didn't want anything to do with Nickelodeon continuing it for money, but this was where he came back. Not as big of a role as before, but still bringing his talents to the table. By knowing that fact, and by realizing that Aloha Oe plays once again, is just really cool. This song is also at the very beginning of the episode, since it's morning. In a way, it was like the old Spongebob returned, if only for a brief moment. Whether this was intentional or not, with Hillenberg's comeback to the show, I honestly 
can't say, but it's just so heartwarming. Aloha Oe was made 140 years ago, and its meaning changes depending on what you're talking about. However, SpongeBob has continued the song's legacy for a modern generation. No matter what happens in the future, I don't think anyone's gonna forget about the beautiful world Helmberg created and how he revealed these characters to make the world a better place. It's hard for me to put my thoughts into words. For now, all I can say to him and everyone else who ever had a role in bringing SpongeBob into reality is thank you. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.